you open master cam and go to create expand point and let's see creating point using position you can snap this point to a line or a circle or you can just enter the coordinate uh, for entering the coordinate you can just start typing uh, the coordinate like 0 comma 0 comma 0 and the point will be creating created on the origin and if when you click F9 you will see the axis here or you can go to menu expand point command create point using position and select this uh, green plus mark and just just randomly select the points and if you feel that the last point you have selected or placed is wrong you can click on edit point and can place uh, it on any other location you can find that the last point is deleted and a new point is created or you can say the point is moved to a new position you can keep all those points by selecting the tick mark and next is creating point using I mean dynamically creating a point you will get this many menus on your ribbon bar and you can see that if you didn't define any values here you can just place the point anywhere and now if you want to define I am going to define a position of 10 mm from this point and you can see that a point is created and now let's see this command and you can see that at 5 mm distance you have created line and a point on it now I'll be drawing a spline and if you want to retrieve the uh, node points you click on create point node points and select the line and you can see that points are created on the node points next we'll see segment method of creating a point you can enter either the number of segments that you want to cut or the distance between two points I have entered the distance between two points and selected this line and we got 90 of such points which is having a gap of 3 mm or you want 50 segments select the line and a point is created at a gap of I'm creating few circles here with radius 2.5, 3, 5 etc and I'm selecting this menu and I'm selecting here as 1 and selecting all those arcs
you can see that no points are created because we had defined we told the software that to create points on all those circles whose radius is less than 1 now you can see that I have told the software to create points on all those circles and delete those circles if the value of radius is less than 10 now we'll see how to create lines go to create line and point you can just select any lines by uh, switching on the snaps we have snaps here as origin arc center and point intersection midpoint midpoint two points the nearest tangent perpendicular along etc on point so uh, let's start learning one by one now I created a perpendicular I mean a horizontal line just by uh, controlling the snap methods or if I want to enter the start point as a coordinate I am just selecting the menu and start typing as 0 comma 0 comma 0 and when I do that you can see that the start point has snapped to the origin and when I say I need a length of 100 mm at an angle of 45 degree and enter you can get these lines here you can play around by entering those coordinates or just snapping method and if you want a continuous line you can click that menu and start drawing a continuous line or now you feel from this point you need a vertical line you can go for this uh, vertical line menu or and if you feel that now you want to create a horizontal line you can very well do that And you click this horizontal method and you can define the length just by moving around your mouse and click OK now let's see closest line closest I'm creating an arc here I'm circle here and creating a line and if you want to create a line which is shortest distance from this circle to the uh, line here and you select the two entities that line of shortest distance will be drawn and if you want select this create line using bisection method and enter the value of the length you require and select these two lines and you can see that a line of 25 mm is created and if you opt for this keeping you are creating four lines you can get this type of uh, lines if you require if you want to create a parallel line just need to enter the value of offset and select the side you will get the same line of same length but an offset of 10 mm if 
If I want to create a line tangent through point, I'm selecting a, a arc or a spline and selecting a point and moving my mouse or you can enter the value here. You will get a line which is tangent to this circle and starting point will be the imaginary line intersection of the imaginary line from point to the center of the circle 